everyone welcome to the pep coding so in this video i'll be solving the question prime factorization of a number so we have to take an input of a number and we have to print all the prime factors from smallest to the greatest so let us take an example so for example the number is 1 4 4 0 so we have to divide it by the smallest number that is 2 dividing it by 2 we'll get 720 again it is divisible by 2 so three sixty. again it is divisible by 2 so 180 again it is divisible by 2 so 90 again it is divisible by 2 so 45 now it is not divisible by 2 so we will look for the smallest next number which is greater than 2 that is 3 so 3 can divide 45 15 again the number is divisible by 3 so 5 now 3 cannot divide 5 so we have to look for the next smallest number which is greater than 3 that is 4 but 4 cannot divide the number 5 so we have to look for next smallest number which is greater than 4 that is 5 and 5 can divide so these are the factors of 1 4 4 0 so let's just quickly code this this is a very simple one so firstly we have to take the input so I'm including a scanner class scanner scn is equal to new scanner system dot in right now we have to take the input n is equal to scn dot next int right now we'll apply the for loop which will start from 2 till n so for int divisor is equal to 2 divisor is less than equal to n and divisor plus plus now i'll write the while loop here while the number is divisible so this loop will work till that number so while the number is modulo div is equal to is equal to zero number is divisible by zero till it will work so we have to also decrease the number so n is equal to n divided by div also we have to print the div divisor every time so system dot out dot print we'll print not print ln why i'll tell you Firstly, we'll print the divisor and then a space because we have to we have uh, the input in one line. So we'll write the space here and not the print line. Okay, so let's just uh, optimize the code so we can change something in the outer loop. How? So if you remember the property of the prime number, it was PQ is equal to N. And also both P and Q cannot be greater than root N. So this is wrong. So we can apply the loop from 2 to root N. Right. So let's just see.
so i'll write divisor into divisor is less than equal to n right so is one more case that is if we are dividing the number and it is not decreased to 1 then there is something left the number is left for example to take an example this is a number 46 so i'll divide it by 2 it will give me 23 now the number is not divisible by 2 the number is also not divisible by 3 the number is not divisible by 4 not by 5 not by 6 till 23 so i don't have to apply a for loop till 23 what i'll do is i am applying the loop from 2 till root n so if i'm dividing it by 2 it is not divisible if i'm dividing it by 3 it is not divisible if I'm dividing it by 4, it is again not divisible, but the root of 23 is 4 point something. So I'll break the loop at this part and I will not go to the 5. I will not divide it by 5. So what I'm going to do is, firstly, let me check. what i will write here after the for loop if the number is not equal to 1 that means there is a num present other than 1 and it is not divisible completely so we will print that number sorry print and so 23 will get printed so i think i'm done with it so let's just run this accept it let's submit this correct answer so i hope i was clear with the concept so thank you for watching the video hope you liked it and don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you